Welcome back to C Turbo Addicts channel, guys. Um, <clears throat> excuse the train. I live right next to the train tracks. If you can see that train in the background, that's how close my house is to the train tracks. Um, good news. Uh, I just got done honing. I didn't make a video on actually honing. Um, but as you can see, I don't know how well you can see in the camera, but uh, I got nice, clean cylinder walls there uh, with good cross hatch on them. Hell, they look like a wonderful finish on them right now. Excuse me for the burp. Uh, what I had done, I didn't make a video on the whole thing, but what I had done was uh, I took some muriatic acid. Uh, it's like seven bucks at your local Walmart. I went down to Harbor Freight and I bought a pair of throwaway uh, long nose on those pliers uh, because the muriatic acid will eat these it'll eat anything for Christ's sake um, and I got some cotton balls and I swabbed all the cylinders out and I took the cotton balls and I dipped them in the muriatic acid and I swabbed the walls real lightly making sure not to get any of the aluminum in the block uh, soaked with the muriatic acid and um, slowly but surely I checked to see if there's any bubbles for any aluminum um, I didn't have any big bubbling issues. I don't know if it was just maybe the muriatic acid now isn't as what it used to be um, because like, everything's going green and it's safer or whatever but uh, I did after that I, I washed out the cylinders real good to make sure that there was no contamination of acid. I cleaned everything else out um, and then I relubed it with uh, my favorite uh, Marvel Mystery Oil here. Um, as you can see I have a sprayer head on the top of it because I like to mist everything down. That stuff is awesome for cleaning shit off and it smells nice too. <laughs> um, but after I did that, then I had uh, gotten out the old power drill and had the this hone that I had hooked up and being quite copious with um, Marvel Mystery Oil, I proceeded to, to hone each one of these cylinders in stages and, and sets of like 45 seconds slower slow slow nice good up and down pattern um, and I was trying to get rid of you know one and three were the ones that were in question uh, they had a little bit of scratching in three uh, but that is gone that actually came out so right now uh, my next phase is to go ahead and pull the pistons out and I'm gonna start pulling those apart uh, I'm gonna soak down this uh, cylinder block right now with oil again um, I'm going to put the lid back on it and uh, cover it with a bag just to make sure that it's uh, nice and oiled up good while it's waiting. I don't want any more rust or anything coming out. Um, I cleaned, oh, by the way, I cleaned out the cylinders after honing because the honing actually creates dust and uh, particles and shit that can sit in there and cause issues down the road. So after honing, you always want to clean these out. Um, I'd say I probably got about an hour and a half into taking my time with the full honing uh, so that's good news for this motor right now uh, so far this block is looking like the prime block to go to I'm going to go ahead and pull the piston rings off of the the cylinder or the crankshaft that was in this motor um, and I have them stuck on one and three so we're gonna see how that goes I do have the other motor that I have not pulled the assembly out of which I'm going to do um, and I'll probably actually just leave the camera running for the whole time for that. So um, today is Friday, the 30th. Um, I don't know how much more time I'm going to get to do on this this weekend. I got a lot of stuff going on with uh, school. I'm getting ready to wrap up this semester. Um, got a couple projects I have to finish uh, for classes and. Um, get ready for finals week which is coming up not next week the week after so um, this makes me feel better now I don't have to worry about this right now so I'm gonna probably go ahead and order some piston rings either way I'm gonna need to be replacing piston rings um, and we're gonna go through some more stuff I'm gonna get out the, uh, the the crankshaft assembly right now and I'm gonna see if I can show you about taking these off and uh, what to do when you have them stuck uh, if I don't get into that video now, stay tuned for it, um, and uh, thanks for watching, guys.